I'll have to say、um, it was because I hated to market. <laughs> and, and that is, I was having lunch with an engineer,、uh, happened to be vice president of engineering for a major oil company, and we were just having lunch after Sunday after church. And he said something about,、uh, "What are you doing?" And I said, "Well, I'm doing some writing." And he got up, pulled a book off his shelf, and he said, "This book." He said, "We pay a lady to fly in here." That was it. I was in Houston.、Mm-hmm. He said, "We pay a lady to fly in here from Atlanta to teach all of us engineers to write, do technical writing and business writing. We can't write." And I thought, you know, I know how to do that. I I can teach them how to do that, and、yeah. I can make get more money doing that. And so.、Um, I wrote a book. I asked some friends to give me samples of business writing of all in all different industries, and I wrote a book on that. And very quickly, it took me four days to write that book、wow. and send it off. And then my agent was able to sell it.、Uh, you know, she had gotten the book. I got an agent because of the first, you know, books on on for young adults. And、uh, so when th- that was my marketing plan, I couldn't imagine calling up people, call calling, you know, people I didn't even know, and say, "Can I come out and talk to you?" So my plan was to become an author, well known enough that calls would come to me.、Uh. So when when the book came out, while I was waiting, you know, for the publisher to bring it out,、um, I called on businesses and I said, you know, here's my name. This is what I do. I have a book on such and such. I don't know if you've heard of it, but it it will be、uh, released. And then, of course, after it came out, I said it, it has been released. Could I come out and talk to you about teaching your employees this? And they said, "Sure, we need help." And like I said I, earlier, I was mentioning、uh, the Houston Chronicle、mm-hmm. did a huge story on me on, on the business that I was teaching business writing, and people had trouble with their writing. And I didn't even have—I had no employees, and I didn't even have, you know, a, an answer, a phone, cell phone like we have today. I had an answering service, and I called in at noon. And she said, "I don't know what you did, but you have had 32 calls this morning for companies wanting you to come out and talk to them." Beautiful. And so that <laughs> that really was my marketing plan. And I started calling on those companies. And the first client I had was an oil company who passed my name to another oil company who passed my name to another oil company. So. Being in Houston, I was working for all the major oil companies, and then the book did actually come out.、Mm. At, you know, three or four months later, and IBM saw me on the TV show that I already mentioned, and so I thought, oh, that's a new industry. Well, maybe I could do that,、mm. and so I started working for IBM, and then I just, you know, branched out and got into the financial industry and started hiring people. I got so many leads so quickly that I couldn't do them. I had all days booked. And so when IBM finally got convinced, yes, you know, you you can certainly do this for a lot of people.、Um, they said, "Can we give you 60 days next year?" And I went, "I I don't have 60 open days. I'm totally booked for the year."、Mm-hmm. So I thought, I don't want to lose clients. I have got to hire people. So at that point, I start, you know, I hired an assistant and I started hiring other trainers、wow. to go out and do my programs.、Wow. And that was actually in the first four years of business. The rest of the time. I was the content creator. I pretty much stayed behind my PC writing the books. I would see what's the problem in industry, what do people need a solution for, what are my clients complaining about, and when they come to the workshops, and I developed the material. Then I developed a training program on it and trained other people to go out and actually deliver the programs. And then I would do the speaking. I would, if it was a major conference, you know, five thousand people, then I would go, you know, do a Brief little overview, sort of an intro. But if they wanted sustained learning for their employees, then I sent my consultants in to do, you know, multi-day programs. 